guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of a triangle. So as we're looking at finding the area of our triangles, there are two pieces that we're going to be looking for as far as the numbers that we're going to use within the formulas. We're going to be looking for the base of our triangle and the height of our triangle. Now the big important part about the base and the height of a triangle is that they have to be perpendicular to each other. So then once we have the base and the height of our triangle, the formula that we're going to use says in order to find the area of a triangle, we do one half times the base times the height. Now there is another way that we could write that. We could write this as the base times the height divided by two. Both of those formulas mean exactly the same thing. But let's take a look at this triangle. Right now, the way this triangle is drawn out, the height is on the inside of the triangle being perpendicular to that base going across the bottom. But the height could also be on the outside of a triangle. Or the height could be one of the actual sides of the triangle itself if we're dealing with a right triangle. But the biggest, most important part of this is that when we're looking at using this one half times the base times the height formula, the base and the height have to be two lengths that are perpendicular within our picture. Let's take a look at this example. We've got a 15 centimeter length going across the bottom of our triangle. Inside of our triangle being perpendicular to the base is that four centimeter length. So we know we're looking at the height of the triangle because it's perpendicular to the base. So as we're looking at finding the area of this triangle, remember our formula says area is one half times the base times the height. We're just gonna plug in the values that we have. So we've got one half times, we're looking at the two perpendicular lengths of our triangle. So we've got the 15 across the bottom and we've got the four inside of our triangle. Now if we're gonna do this multiplication, I would maybe take the 15 times the four right away. That value is 60 and then we've got that times a half out in front. And then if we do half of 60, that ends up being 30. Since we're dealing with an area, we need to label our answer. We were measuring this in centimeters, so this is going to be centimeters squared. If we look at this example, we've got a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, and we're going to find the area of this triangle. So remember our formula is 1 half times the base times the height. As far as this triangle, we're given the length of all three sides. As we're looking at the base and the height of our triangle, remember they have to be perpendicular to each other. So the two sides of this triangle that make a right angle are the three foot length and the four foot length. So that's what we're gonna use as our base and our height. So we're gonna go one half times three times four. Now maybe you wanna do that three times four right away. That's 12. And if we multiply 12 by a half, we end up getting six feet squared as our area for this triangle. Here's an example where the height of our triangle actually happens outside of the triangle itself. So across the bottom we have a length of 5 inches and then this vertical length on the outside is 8 inches. And what gets tricky on this one is in order to see the right angle we have to extend this 5 length out further. But the 5 is actually what we're going to use as our base and the 8, that vertical piece, is what we're going to use as our height. So as we're looking at our 1 half times the base times the height, we're going to use the 5, as I said, as our base and the eight as our height. Five times eight is 40, and if we take that times a half, we end up getting 20 inches squared as our area of this triangle. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching.